In this video, you'll learn how to get rid of love handles. So, what are the workouts for women? Firstly, crunches on an exercise ball. What are the steps? Sit on a well-inflated exercise ball. For more information on what diameter ball to use, read Ball Size Matters. Place your hands behind your head and walk your feet away from the ball so your torso starts to roll onto the ball. The ball should support your hips and the curve of your lower back. Your legs should form a bridge with your knees bent at right angles. Exhale and lift your upper body by about 45 degrees, pulling the deep abs in toward the spine, and return to the starting position. Don't yank your neck and do 25 reps. The second exercise is Pilates 100s. Start by lying on your back with your legs in tabletop position, hips and knees at right angles. Engage your deep abs to round your lower spine into the floor. Make sure you're not pooching your abs, which means you're just working the top layer of abs, which is a Pilates no-no. Exhale and lift your upper back off the floor until the bottom tips of your shoulder blades skim the floor. Straighten your legs to a 45 degree angle, but make sure your low back is staying connected to the floor. Reach your arms towards your feet. Your arms will be about 2 inches off the floor. Pump your arms up and down with a small range of motion, keeping your elbows straight. Inhale for 5 arm pumps and exhale for 5 arm pumps. That completes one set or cycle. Repeat the cycle 9 more times for a total of 100 pumps. Keep your upper body stable while your arms pump. The third exercise is bicycle crunches. Lie flat on the floor with your lower back pressed to the ground. Pull your abs down to also target your deep abs. Interlace your fingers and put your hands behind your head. Bring your knees in towards your chest and lift your shoulder blades off the ground. Straighten your right leg out to about a 45 degree angle to the ground while turning your upper body to the left, bringing your right elbow toward the left knee. Make sure your rib cage is moving and not just your elbows. Now switch sides and do the same motion on the other side to complete one rep and to create the pedaling motion. Do this exercise with slow and controlled motion. Do 10 to 20 reps. The fourth exercise is twisting side plank. Come into a side plank on your right side with your feet stacked one on top of the other and your weight on your right elbow with your fingers reaching away from your body, palm down. Place your left arm behind your head and inhale to prepare. Exhale and pull your navel to your spine to engage your deep abs and rotate your left rib cage toward the floor. Stay there for a second and deepen your abdominal connection by pulling your navel in towards your spine even more. Return to the starting position and repeat 7 more times for a total of 8 reps, then switch sides. Repeat series again on both sides. The fifth exercise is the Russian twist. Sit on the ground with your knees bent and your heels about a foot from your bum. Lean slightly back without rounding your spine at all. It is really important and difficult to keep your back straight, but don't let it curve. Place your arms straight out in front of you with your hands one on top of the other. Your hands should be level with the bottom of your rib cage. Pull your navel to your spine and twist slowly to the left. The movement is not large and comes from the ribs rotating, not from your arms swinging. Inhale through center and rotate to the right. This completes one rep. Do 16 full rotations. To get washboard abs, the best exercise is hanging ab curls. Using a pull-up bar, get a good grip with your palms facing out or toward each other. Start with your legs hanging straight down, and on an exhale, pull your abs towards your spine and bend your knees, lifting them towards your chest. Without swinging, slowly lower your knees, returning to a straight leg position. Repeat for a total of 10 to 12 reps. Next, we'll talk about the best exercises for men. The first is, of course, sit-ups. Lie flat on your back on the floor, with your knees bent and your legs secured under a piece of heavy furniture. I'm assuming that you're doing this routine at home. Place your hands by your chest. Flexing your abdominals, raise your torso until you are nearly in a sitting position. Retaining tension on the abs, lower your torso to the beginning position. Remember to maintain full control throughout the movement. Also, avoid the temptation to rock back and forth. The second exercise is leg raises. Lie flat on your back on the floor with your legs straight out in front of you. Place your hands at your sides by the floor for support. Flexing your lower abdominals, raise your legs until they're perpendicular to the floor. Retaining tension on the abs, lower your legs to the beginning position. Again, maintain full control throughout the movement. Avoid the temptation to let your legs drop on the negative portion of the movement. The third exercise is knees in. 
Sit on the floor or on the edge of a chair or exercise bench with your legs extended in front of you and your hands holding onto the sides for support. Keeping your knees together, pull your knees in towards your chest until you can go no further. Keeping the tension on your lower ab muscles, return to the start position and repeat the movement until you have completed your set. The fourth exercise is toe touchers. Sit on the floor or on the edge of a chair or exercise bench with your legs extended in front of you and your hands holding onto the sides for support. Simultaneously bring your legs up as far as possible while at the same time bringing your torso towards them. Return to the start position and repeat the movement until you have completed your set. Note: This is a modified version of a V-up. In a true V-up, your starting position is lying down on the floor and bringing yourself up with no arm support. The fifth exercise is crunches. Lie flat on your back on the floor with your legs in front of you bent at the knees. Place your hands by your chest. At this time, raise your shoulders and torso as far as possible from the ground in a curling movement without raising your back from the floor. Retaining tensions on the abs, bring your torso to the starting position. To slim down, you have to alter your energy balance. There are simply two ways to accomplish this. Either take in less calories or spend more energy through exercise. The easiest way to boil down your consumption is merely cut back on the size of your meals and or the total high calorie foods you eat. This doesn't mean that you have to give up any certain food. Bear in mind that there's more to a beautiful body than just utilizing effective wellness products. You need to be on a total preventative healthcare and wellness program that involves diet, nutrition, making a point that your body gets the proper nutrients, and exercise. Optimum body functions today require any added help they can get, as most people don't go through the trouble to consume foods that are healthy and beneficial for them. Therefore, there's a need to make a conscious effort to source out essential vitamin types of foods and include them into the daily diet plan for hoped good conditions. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.